there. My name is Wendy, and today we're going back to about 1910 to 1919. Now, I know I'm dressed a bit differently, and it's not exactly 1910 to 1919 uh, wardrobing, but it's the closest thing I had, guys, so it sets the mood. <laughs> so, anyways, I wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction. Um, in a few seconds, you'll see my tutorial about how women then achieve their makeup look and you'll learn more about which women used it, which women didn't, and how that is the time when most of the makeup we have today began, uh, such as mascara started by Maybelline. That's the time that it came around. And um, anyway, this is also the time when powders and we got blushes and they became from loose powders to compact powders. And um, lipstick came around. That was a time when they were using wax and metal tubing, and that was lipstick then. And um, anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, please feel free to follow me on my Facebook page. It's um, Touch of Glamour. And I also have a blog page, Touch of Glamour Makeup dot wordpress dot com and um anyway i'll put the links to both below so you guys stay tuned i really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial bye for now okay ladies let's get started because i don't have any rice powder or pearl powder for that fact I'm going to use my Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil, and that's all I'm going to apply to my face. This is my brush again. Now, in this time, like I said earlier, women wanted their faces more pale because that showed a sense of higher class in that time. Um, usually the working women were the ones out in the sun and they had more of a tan complexion to them. Now, not to say that women of color were looked down upon necessarily, but it was the ones that you could tell apart from the working and the ones that stayed inside out of the sun. That's mainly what separated them. So women tried to get a more pale skin. So that's why they chose that particular powder. Um, now going on, I'm going to use, I actually have CoverGirl uh, Lash Blast Volume Mascara. In this time period, women would have used um, Maybelline, which was the very first mascara brand. And that was actually a guy, I want to say his name is Mr. T.I. invented it. And, well, not he, he did not invent it. Well, he invented it and named the company after his sister who gave him the idea for how to make the mascara. But his sister's name was Mabel, hence Maybelline. So, um, like I said, in that time, you would have caught a woman using Maybelline mascara or uh, petroleum jelly, which she would have used, you know, anything that had black, like coal or soot or something along those lines, to give it the black color. Now, in my previous video, we talked about the Edwardian era, and mainly covered 1900 up until 1910. This one is mainly focusing on 1910 to about 1919. Um, actually, I did this a little backwards. I should have used my shadow before the mascara, but it'll be okay. Um, in this time period, also, not only was mascara being invented, um, lips, uh, lipstick were coming out, and for the lipstick, it was colored wax put into a metal tube. And then you had the eyeshadows, which was a henna-based eyeshadow product, and the only color you had then was black. 
And because in this time period, the films and the movies then were in silence, they made it a point to make the makeup folder, the clothing, you know, stand out. So I'm going to use L'Oreal. This is my Smoky Eye palette, but I'm going to use the black in it. You can see that. I'm just using an eyeliner brush, a shadow brush, I'm sorry. And this time, it wasn't more about perfection. This was just about the color being there. And it was due to movies that they got a look that nowadays we call a Hollywood vamp look, a vampire look. And um, women, even though in this time period it was more common for makeup to be found on actresses and prostitutes, it was, they were more coming out of their box in this period. Now it would have looked something like this, maybe a little darker. I don't have a mirror in front of me, so it's not going to be completely perfect. And like I said, the reason for this was to create the boulder effect. They wanted to see that color. So it would have appeared something like this. And then of course you would have done your mascara. Um, also, powders and blushes were actually starting to come around more. And in this time, they were being put compact like this, instead of loose. So you would have found some women actually using blush in this time. So we're going to apply a little bit. Um, like I said earlier, the lipstick then was wax and ML tube. I'm actually using a lip stain by Revlon. This is the color stain perennial plum. Um, of course, it was varied colors. So this is what I chose to use for this look. what the women actually wearing makeup would have looked something like in this time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was very informative to you. Um, please go to my Facebook page. You can check it out. I'll put a link in the box below. It's um, Touch of Glamour. And then I also have a blog Touch of Glamour Makeup dot WordPress dot com. So you guys please feel free to go to those. Check them out. Like them. Leave me any comments or messages. Let me know if there's something you want to know more about. Anything I, I can uh, help you with in a tutorial or give you a haul about. I'd be glad to help you. Anyways, thank you so much for wa watching. Bye, guys.